Today I will show you how I mix my cement. I mold it like this for you to easily understand. Just use any container that you prefer, then fill it with sand just to measure it. Go, go, go! That's the way to do it, yeah! Put them all in one place. Now we have 3, 6, 9, and 12. A few more. Let's do this. Tap, 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 ta, tap, tap. There it is. One cup measure. How many cement to be mixed with sand? Huh, good question. For every two measure of sand, I will mix one measure of cement. Mix two sand measure with one cement measure. It's time to mix mix mix. Mix mix mix. Mix mix mix. Proper mixture of sand and cement is key. Let us increase the video speed a little. That is great. Build a mountain on the left and then to the right. Mix it well. Follow me as I mix these cement with sand. A strong base stand is very important in making a durable standing punching bag. Continue mix it until you cannot see the white color of the cement. Nice mixture means strong bond. Let's fast it forward. When mixing is complete, let us start adding water, but for me I like to create a volcanic-like shape that will serve as basin for my water. This looks like one of the famous volcano found in the Philippines. What is its name again? Ah, uh, I think it is called the Tall Volcano located in Batangas City. And now we shower in some water. You have to remember that too much water results in weak cement mixture. Do not overflow. Looks like exactly in the picture. He 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 he. We are still working on the standing punching bag project. When you think the mixture absorbed enough water then you can start covering the lake. Let the cement and sand mixture sip the water and after that you can start cementing. Learn to chill and relax while doing this project as it can hurt your wrist and waist. We are going to create a strong cement base. Let us fill in the tire and the jar. It is important that the spaces and gap inside the rubber tire must be filled with cement. Fill it all out. Just keep it coming. It looks like a chocolate fountain. Pour all the cement mixture we have, put it all in, we will smoothen it later. The mixture has a bit more of water for the cement mixture to easily penetrate those gaps inside the tire. Let us smoothen the surface. It is a must to hammer the rubber tire for the cement to sink in and get compacted. We are all done for today. We hope you enjoy doing this as much as we did. Always clean your workplace after you are done with your project. Remember that inhaling too much cement can be harmful to your health. Washi washi, washi washi washi, washi washi. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and don't forget to check out the part 1 and 3 of this video.